Uh, hello traders, uh, today is the 3rd of November 2010 and uh, happy trading to you all. Uh, this is about the support level, okay? Uh, what kind of attitude uh, should you adopt uh, as a trader when the price is approaching a support level, okay? In order to uh, certify a level as a support level, uh, we would prefer the price to touch it at least twice in the past, okay? So this red line here, okay, is a kind of a support level here. We will watch it uh, carefully what has happened. A support level can be in the past a resistance level. So a resistance level can become a support level, okay? As you can see, the price touch the, uh, touches, touched the red line in the past. So it's a very important level in the past. There was uh, some sentiment at that past price level in the past, okay? So it's... Uh, a level we need to pay attention to okay before we call a level a support level is at that particular point only because the price come and find a support there at that particular point the price that level become a support level okay but if if we're looking at this red line only at this particular point in time this level was a support level because the price found a support there and when above it but right there, it fell to to hold the price, okay? But if you look again, here, the price came and touched it, and it found a support. At that particular point in time, this level was a support level. So when we are talking about support level or resistance level, you have to consider also the element of timing, okay? So at this point here, it was not a support level. It was a failure of a support level okay so always in trading that's why we design carefully tscwsys08 because the, the lot of traders forget the element of timing the time the clock is so important in trading if you can uh, uh, remember that timing is the key in trading and use it uh, accurately and uh, you will be uh, enjoying your trading okay yeah the red line failed to support the price, but right here, here it failed to support the price, so it went below it. The price returned above it and found the support and got up. You see? So we are talking about the element of time. It's not like a, a, a support level and the price can never ever break below it. But this is what usually happens when the price is approaching the support level or a, a, a price level that people call a support level, they think that the price can never ever break it and they buy it, okay? And strange thing happen in the stock market only to see that the price continue the movement nicely to the downside. And they are shocked because they did not consider the element of time. If you look carefully here, the green candle here, some people bought it here. This is the 38% Fibonacci retracement level of this Australian dollar yen. The price is at that level because they say that this is a support level. They look at it like we did now and they say it's a support level. But the support level, they forget the element of timing. Okay? Yes, it hold the price at one point in time, but it fell at one point also in time to support the price. But still, it's an important price level. We can look at, we can observe. That's what I say. Keep your eyes wide open. Do not blink. Okay? So what is the problem? The problem is that people jump into conclusion and do their own thing. That's why we design carefully the TSCWSYS08, the TSCW24, to guide traders in this mess. So when a price is at this level here, now you go to your lower time frame, your favorite lower time frame, and use your TSCW24 to direct you. You see? It's just simple. Even that considering this the trend is still down the price is going down the number one indicator is the price it's going down yes it's approaching a, a level that we need to pay attention to but nothing is telling us right now even though those people bought it here don't be a follower be a leader okay nothing is telling us so far that uh, uh, the, the, this movement has stopped completely we didn't see any double bottom we didn't see any triple bottom we didn't see and it did it's just that it came into this level here. It can perfectly break the support level, or it can find a support there and turn around. Or it can go below it, and f and uh, go below it, and then turn around before coming back and find a support above it. So this is about how 
you can trade around a support level so if the order to summarize for you once and for all so you master this once and for all the price can come down and touch this level like this and then turn around okay that's what a lot of people are expecting but things are not always the same the second scenario we clear those uh, two lines the second scenario is that you perfectly go down like this okay and then come back up again and just find a support there okay and then continue the movement to the outside so if full people felt that uh, maybe this level has fell only to come back and do exactly what people were expecting first so if your stop loss is not strong you may be taken out okay this is the second scenario okay we clear the line the third scenario is that the price just disregard completely this support level and seek a better support level just break it down and continue and not even bothering to come back and retest it to come back down yeah it can break below it and try to fool people that are coming back up only to fail right there and come back down or it may just continue nicely to the downside the price the leader so this is how we trade around the support zone until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy thank you